this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you specifically on the Redmi Note 10 Pro how can you install a Nix camera and what are the differences so first let me show you I'm on the Darface ROM this is the latest official build I have not done a specific video yet but once I do that I'll link it in the card right there about the Darface ROM's review but first here let me talk about the stock camera here and in every ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro as of right now you're getting a pretty basic old kind of Google camera the UI is not that great yes you can take basic pictures with it but it's not fun and for that you need to download some specific files for the Redmi Note 10 Pro and that is the version 185R ANX camera and all other stuff let me show you so this is the ANX camera's website that we need to go into and here make sure you have ad blocker disabled in this website because otherwise this website may not work and here just go into this download section straight up and here first you need to go into this downloads and here just make sure you're downloading this binoid full version modded for r that just means for android 11 and here if you click to expand as you can see it has only one version so download this one version 185r and then scroll down for the add-ons then from this add-on section just make sure you are downloading this 48 megapixel fix for r that is for android 11 and this one is the latest so i have downloaded this one and we also need another add-on that is for the redmi note 10 pros add-on and here i'll go from this telegram's post and here if you see this add on for suite i'll list this post over here in the description just make sure you have telegram installed on your device then from here just click on this add on over here and this is the rn10 pro add on and it will add the features of the redmi note 10 pro specifically and i'll show you how to install these now so these are the three files that i have downloaded over here the 185r and the 48 megapixel fix and also the add-on for the redmi note 10 pro specifically but first before i start everything let me tell you that you have to flash magic and you can flash magic version 21.4 zip file then update and you can do that with the twrp recovery or the orange box recovery anything but as of right now the twrp recovery only supports the internal storage decryption and the encryption kind of thing so yeah maybe you should use the TWRP recovery too and i have been using the TWRP recovery too as of right now and if you don't know how to install it you can check out the card right there yes i have showed the orange box recovery flashing but you can flash also the TWRP recovery with that method and with the TWRP recovery itself again you need to flash magisk 21.4 i'm not going to show you that you just go to install and just flash the magisk 21.4 if you are familiar with magisk installation you should be knowing that and by default over here the safety net is actually not passing after installing magisk but i have not done anything with that let me show you by opening magisk i just updated the magisk over here this is with the default settings so first let me show you what you need to do step by step first to do the safety net kind of thing you just go to the settings of the magisk and then we need to enable this magisk hide option then we need to enable this systemless host i guess and from here also tap on this hide magisk and you can name it to anything like except magisk of course so i'm gonna just name it to manager you might need to wait for a couple of seconds over here this may take some time for you too so do not worry you may need to do this step once or twice to make it work and let me try one more time i just click on hide magisk okay so i will leave it for the time being because it's not working let's check the safety net right now okay so as you can see right now the safety net is passing so after that you can do one thing that you just open magisk then go to this section over here this privacy kind of section and go into this magisk hide then search all the banking apps over here and add them that's how you can hide them from here so let me show you if I type GPay, so just add all these banking apps over here and that's how you can get banking apps working over here without any issues. And here if you go into this last section on this plugins kind of section, then you just need to go to the install from storage. Right now we are going to focus on the flashing stuff of ANX camera. So from here you just go into your download folder and this is how it should look. And once you go into the download folder, just select the ANX camera version 185R first. So this is the file that we are going to flash version 185R and just select that and it will start installing. And right now, as you can see, it shows installing and flashing. So this is done. Now we have to reboot the system. So we just flash the ANX camera module only. So that is why the icon is there, but we are not going to open it right now. We are going to install the add-ons. So for that, we need to open magisk again, then go to the plugins and from install, we need to first install this 48 megapixel fix 
So this I'm gonna install right now. As you can see, 40 megapixel fix installed. So right now, reboot the system again. And now after a reboot, we still need to flash the Redmi Note 10 Pro specific add-on. So for that, again, open Magisk and go to that last plugin section and then install. And from here, we're gonna select this Redmi Note 10 Pro's add-on over here, which is this one. So it is flashing right now and here, for this kind of flashing of this Redmi Note 10 Pro add-on, as there is two camera versions for the Redmi Note 10 Pro globally, that is 108 megapixel camera, but for India, the Pro Max has the 108 megapixel and the Pro has the 64 megapixel. So here we have this test kind of thing, like you have to press a volume key so that the device detects that it, it is working. And here it will ask you, do you have a 64 megapixel camera or a 108 megapixel camera? So here for volume plus, it will select the 108 megapixel module and for the volume minus, it will select the 64 megapixel module. And as this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro Indian unit, it has the 64 megapixel camera. So I'm gonna select the 64 megapixel one and for that, I'm gonna select with the volume down. So once I press that again, as you can see, it flashes that and right now we have to reboot the system. So if you have a global device, make sure you press the volume up in this section or if you have a Redmi Note 10 Pro Max Indian version, make sure you go with the 108 megapixel mode by pressing the volume up. So right now I just have added the icon over here of the ANX camera, I did not open it yet. So first we need to go to the permissions of the ANX camera to get it working. Just go into the apps info, then from permissions, make sure you enable all these permissions like network and sensors and etc. Then we have in this denied section, the camera permission, then allow only while using the app then we have files and this kind of thing and here make sure you click on this allow manage of all files over here again that's how you can get it allowed otherwise it won't be allowed let me go back and from here in the location we have to select this allow only while using the app too and from here again from the microphone we will select this allow only while using the app so right now let me just go back and now we can open the anx camera app and here, just click on allow, it will force close the app for once, do not worry. So, as you can see, we have successfully flashed the ANX camera. Let me switch the front camera to see if it's working. So, seems like, yep, it is working. Let's take a selfie. So, yeah, as you can see, the selfies are working fine as of right now. And let's see in the info. So, as you are noticing, this is a 16 megapixel selfie, so it is working fine. Let me go back and in the photo section, let's switch to the rear camera and here all three kind of modes over here 1x 0.6x and the 2x mode is working fine let's take a normal picture over here yes as you can see it is working fine and let's see the info and it shows 16 megapixel so yeah it is working and here in the video settings let's see what modes do we get we have up to 4k 30fps option so that is good let's see if you can switch it so yeah, it should be working fine. As you can see, 4K 30fps is selected. And there is also in the photo mode too, there is also the macro mode. And here, it doesn't say super macro, but it says macro. So yeah, it should be working fine. Let me take a very close up picture over here. So yeah, as you can see, macro pictures are working fine too. So this is very cool. And in the pro mode, we also have the video mode over here. So this is specific to the Redmi Note 10 Pro and it is actually working fine. And you can change the white balance and stuff from here and you can change the focus option from here. As you can see right now, it's working, but sometimes it just zooms in. Okay, so right now I can change the ISO as you are noticing. So yeah, the pro mode also is working fine. You should not worry about that. And in the more settings, we do have a 64 megapixel mode. Also the vlog mode, slow motion, etc. is there. So let's just see with the slow motion, you can take 960p, 720p videos and the portrait mode, is that working? Let's see. It might be working, I'm not sure with the subject, but let's switch the front camera and let's see. So seems like the portrait mode selfies should be working fine. And as you are noticing, the background is completely blurred. And yep, I can see there is a little bit of edge detection kind of thing. So yeah, portrait mode is working with the front camera. So that is great. Only I think the 64 megapixel mode will not work. Let's quickly take a 64 megapixel photo and let's see what are the resolution of it. Okay, so you have to wait a little bit after taking the 64 megapixel photo. And once you do that, it is actually working. Let me show you right now. If I zoom it in, this is actually a 64 megapixel photo. And if I go into the info, 
right now as you can see in the like section over here the 64 megapixel mode is showing up and you can see the resolution the picture is about 17.26 mb so yeah you can actually take 64 megapixel mode photos too i was wrong so that is very good and yep you can do it on any rom over here but on the darface rom specifically i would say the experience should be really good over here if you flash the anx camera on the darface and also the super macro the 4k video 4k 30 fps video i mean and all other options are working super fine so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet please share this video with your friends to let them know about how to flash anx camera on their redmi note 10 pro on a custom rom this is tito from kd and signing off please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now